They are angry at the killing of one of their colleagues who they say trades on phone at the Ogogologo market. Enraged by the brutal action, they took the corpse of the disease to the state police command headquarters to demand justice. Some of them narrate what happened early Wednesday morning in the state capital. We carry five hundred naira. Give them. The other one said, "Why not give them?" Now he carry go shooter for head. He died because of five hundred naira. He not do the anything. They stop him with the wife. To calm Fred Neves, the commissioner of police told the protesting traders that the officer is already in detention and won't go unpunished if found guilty. Very very sorry for all that happened. The force will not support this. I personally will ensure that all that needs to be done to the policeman or the policeman that is responsible for this that act do not go unpunished. I am I meant to understand just now that the culprit has been arrested and is already in custody. Meanwhile, the police officer involved in the incident gives a different picture of what transpired. Along the line, I had a voice from about 10, 15 kilometers that told him, hold him, hold him. Before I could turn, the young man used his left hand to my rifle muzzle, say, I will kill you or I will go with a rifle. So before I could try to do, drag it from him, my belt entered the trigger, then it's fired. It was not intentionally or deliberately to kill him. Now that if he has not touched the muzzle of the rifle, I wouldn't have maybe follow you up or run after him. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control has stepped up its enforcement against fake and counterfeit drugs in recent times in order to keep the public safe and rid the country from unhealthy drugs and products. After intelligence reports, the Investigative and Enforcement Directorate of NAFDAC is swinging into action to make some seizures and arrests. Two major distributors are on today's list at the Zuba area and Otako district. First stop is in Zuba area of the FCT, where a wholesale store is being investigated. Herbal aphrodisiacs and other unregistered products are found here. So there are other variants of Asia, Aisha, Havasnop. Under the watchful eye of security personnel, the suspect is interrogated by the deputy director of the unit. These are products that are purported to be manufactured in Ghana, but they are bringing it to Nigeria and selling it to the teeming populace of our country. Our laboratory analysis so far indicated that this product contains a chemical substance known as pyridine, which is a potential harmful substance to human body. So, the owner of the store has traveled to Castina. I have no idea where the drugs come from or where he gets it. I am only here to sell in the store and I have been doing this for like three to five years. NAVDAC admits that it continues to do enforcements like this to ensure that Nigerians are kept safe from buying the wrong kind of products. The day's business begins with letters from Mr. President seeking the approval of the Nigerian Senate in some executive matters. One of such letters is the approval of promissory notes for Plateau and Borno State for projects executed on behalf of the federal government. Although the executive admits that it has long put a stop to such interventions, the projects in question were executed before the declaration. Given a detailed breakdown in Mr. President's letter, Plateau State will be entitled to about 6.6 .6 billion naira, while Borno State would have a total of about 3.84 billion naira in respect of the federal roads rehabilitated and executed by the state governments. Dear Dusungu Senate President, request for resolutions of the National Assembly for the reimbursement of the sum of 6 billion 601 million 769,417 era 99 Kobo to Plateau State Government and the sum of 3 billion 84 million 769,393 era 63 Kobo to Borno State Government through the issuance 
or promissory notes in respect of federal road projects executed by the states. The Senate may wish to note that the approval by FEC was subsequent to the recommendation of an interministerial committee which reviewed the request for reimbursement by the state governments.